Today we're going to see how you can leverage Google Cloud in a no-code style with a bunch of Google Cloud nodes offered in BuildShip. Now you can see here that I've opened up the Google Cloud tab and I've got a bunch of them here. Now usually, when wanting to use Google Cloud, you'd need to set up a configuration, enable SDKs, a whole bunch of other stuff. But with BuildShip, you can just pick a node and off you go. For example, out of all of these, let's go ahead and try the Translate Text node. This will translate the input text to the specified language. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my workflow. Now what my workflow does is it gets a message via query param, as you can see in these first two nodes, with the ultimate goal of returning a value. But let's focus on this translate text node to see what we can do with it. I'm going to open up here and get our info. So again, usually you would have to use an NPM package, enable the API on the Google Cloud account, think about SDKs and permissions, but not here. You're just going to need to worry about the text that is the text to be translated, the target language, and the Google Cloud Project ID. Now, if you don't have your own Google Cloud Project, you can actually leave this blank, and BuildShip will take care of it by using a pre-built Google Cloud Project for you. So, okay, the text itself is going to come from that query validation. So I'm just going to use the editor here to get that get query param value. Done. Next, the target language. Let's, uh, let's translate this to Chilean Spanish. And finally, I said, we'll use the default build chip integration for Google Cloud Project ID. When returning, all I have to do now is specify a 200 OK and the return value, which is going to be that translated text. And that's it. We're done. This is the power that build chip offers with Google Cloud. If you click here on the code, you're going to see everything here is already taken care of. We've got our Google Cloud integration and that interaction with Google Cloud's translate package all taken care of for us. Well, that's cool and all, but what if we wanted to have a chat integration so that you could speak to someone who speaks Spanish? Let's make this translate chat. So let's add another step here before we translate text. Let's add another Google Cloud node called Palm API, which generates a conversational format text. We're using Google's generative language AI. So again, usually you'd have to enable it, do a whole bunch of setup, but with this, all you need to worry about is the system prompt, that is the preamble and the prompt itself. Everything else, including the model, the top P, K, temperature, candidate count, and max output tokens are already pre-filled for you. And you can actually tweak this as needed. So let's first say, respond to the prompt in a friendly manner as our system prompt, the prompt itself now is going to come from that query parameter. And that's it. Now, when we want to translate that response, instead of translating the query parameter, why not take that generated text? And that's it. Now we can have a conversation with someone who speaks Spanish. And to start using this right away, all we got to do is click on ship. So remember, this is just a starting point. Expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend. See you in the next video.